Leviticus 20, Penalties for Lawbreakers. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Again, you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever of the children of Israel or of the resident aliens dwelling in Israel gives you any of his children to worship a ruler, let him be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I will set my face against that man and will destroy him from among his people, because he gave his children to a ruler to defile my holy things and profane the name. <clears throat> Wait, let me read that again. I will set my face against that man and will destroy him from among his people because he gave his children to a ruler to defile my holy things and profane the name of those who sacrificed for me. But if the natives of the land disregard that man, taking no notice of him when he gives his children to a ruler and they do not kill him, then I will set my face against that man and those of his kind for since he and those in agreement with him prostituted themselves to rulers, I will destroy them from among their people. Also the soul who follows ventriloquists and charmers to prostitute himself with them. That just means people who speak in tongues and voices do all that seance and mediumship stuff. I will set my face against that soul and destroy him from among his people. Therefore you shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall keep my ordinances and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Whatever man curses his father and mother shall surely be put to death. He cursed his father and mother. Thus he shall be guilty. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife. Did I mention that Pornhub headquarters is in Israel? Because it is. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife or who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Whenever it says uncovered nakedness, it means has sex with. The man who lies with his father's wife and has uncovered his father's nakedness, both shall surely be put to death, for they are guilty. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both shall surely be put to death. They are impious and therefore guilty. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both committed an abomination, no gay stuff, they shall be put to death, for they are guilty. If a man marries a woman and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that, they may be no, that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man mates with an animal, he shall surely be put to death. And you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches any animal and mates with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall surely be put to death, for they are guilty. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a reproach. They shall be utterly destroyed in the presence of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. That means has sex with. They shall, bear no, they shall bear their guilt. If a man lies with a woman during her menstrual period and uncovers her nakedness, he has exposed her flow, and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both shall be utterly destroyed from among their people. That's severe. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister nor your mother's sister, for that would uncover his near of kin. They shall bear their guilt. If a man lies with his close relative, he has uncovered his relative's nakedness. They shall bear, they shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is uncleanness. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. You shall therefore keep all my ordinances and all my judgments and perform them, that the land to which I am bringing you to dwell in, to dwell in not be provoked at you. Also, you shall not walk in the ordinances of the nations I am casting out. And then the rest of this isn't about sex. So there you go. There's all the sex stuff you're not supposed to do. Doesn't it remind you of what I just read to you probably last week where it was 
all the things you're not supposed to do where don't uncover nakedness of this person, of that person, of this person, no animals, no livestock, no relatives, no same sex. So there you go. There was the crimes last episode, whenever that was. And now this episode, here are the punishments which are severe. My final thoughts on that. Well, when Jesus came, uh, we have a chance so long as there's life in us to repent from these sins. But in the days of the Old Testament, if you got busted doing any of that stuff I just read to you from the Bible, well, you get put to death. In pretty much every instance except for menstrual flow, but you should be utterly destroyed for that. Period blood stuff. No blood play, I guess. Um, severe consequences. So that's the law. So, in the New Testament, Matthew, doesn't Matthew have a lot to do with, like, basically, it's like, here's the law, so, but it's New Testament style. So we have a chance for repentance, something that fallen angels don't get. They get kicked out of heaven, that's it, all right? It's a willful thing with them. They know more than us. But us down here who couldn't possibly know stuff that the angels have known, we have a chance to repent. And repentance is everything. I'm dealing with unrepentant people in my life and it's breaking my heart. And we're heading into the end of Pascha and boy, I feel like, not the end of Pascha rather, the end of Lent going into Pascha where he is raised. And I am rocking and rolling with all kinds of horrible shit in my life and it's it, it, it is difficult so now that I said all those things get out of here okay